Hi everyone again. Sorry, I didn't think I was going to get two talks, but here I am. <laughs> so uh, my lightning talk is on JSON strings and geometry generators. Um, two quite, well, I found quite powerful things um, to help in your QGIS projects. So uh, JSON strings, everyone probably knows what they are. Um, so you can store any number of key value pairs. Uh, They're supported by GeoPackage and PostgreSQL. Um, you can store them just as text uh, inside, say, a shapefile, although shapefiles will limit you to that length, um, the, you get a field length. Um, so what's been powerful for us for JSON strings is allowing us to essentially change our data schema or record more things without changing our data schema. So um, as we do a lot of research and development, um, we're constantly changing and finding out that we need to record more things than we thought we needed to. Um, so pretty much every table in our database has a JSON field um, for that very reason. Uh, then in QGIS, the expression builder has some quite useful functions. So the from JSON lets you take a JSON string and then turn that into a, um, a map, like a, a key value pair map. Um, and then to JSON goes back the other way. Um, and then, yeah, the map functions, there's heaps of neat little functions in there to help you work with that. So taking a example, um, here's a record out of our database, which uh, records, um, it's a guideline for our helicopters. So it tells the helicopter what direction they're gonna fly for a particular block. Um, so we had project name, aerial name, the date, the version. And then as we started doing more aerial operations, we had to capture more stuff like safe distances, um, the effective swath uh, when we were sowing bait, um, uh, how, uh, how much distance a helicopter would need when they were turning around at the end of their flight lines. So we were able to add all this extra information in without having to change our database table. Then geometry generators. Um, this was quite a revelation for me coming out of Esri. Um, when I saw this, I thought this is this is really cool. Um, so uh, yeah, doing a geometry generator um, essentially allowed me to make line features or whatever I wanted to um, off a polygon. So point, line, anything. Um, so this JSON, uh, so this generator here is um, calling a layer and then finding that JSON string and then pulling the keys and the values out of it to put into um, the values within this, this small expression here. So the result, um, the layers in the left there, the top one is a line feature which stores the JSON string telling us about uh, distances for turnaround, um, what angle or wedge buffer angle we need to use what our safe distances are, that type of thing. Um, and then the next four or five layers um, are all the same shape. It's the same layer or same data set um, with a geometry generator on each of them. So the kind of pink helicopter symbols, um, that is the turnaround zone that we give at the end of our block and we can't have a helicopter flying over a road parcel, which is the red hashed area. Um, our green line is our safe line, so that's where we know that, that bait could potentially get to. Um, so again, that can't go over sensitive um, boundaries. So being able to have the geometry generators um, meant we can edit our flight line direction ever so slightly. So on the right hand screen, um, refresh your map and then all of those geometri geometry generators generate on the fly um, and then you can adjust your block or your, your angles ever so slightly to you get that, that perfect combination of maximum coverage where the helicopter can fly, but not sending them out over sensitive boundaries. And yeah, that's JSON strings and geometry generators and how we're using them for our aerial operations. Yours is probably the most uh, resourceful zero invasive species uh, project that I've ever seen, helicopters, AI cameras, everything. <laughs>
pretty neat. Yeah. Any questions for Nicholas? When was the starting point for you? So they started with two geometry, the polygon and a line. So the line tells us where we're starting, so what side to start the flights from. And then the block is where the helicopter flies within. So all of the um, the green, the yellow dotted line, and the pink helicopters, um, it's the same polygon layer. Um, yeah, if anyone wants an example, I can I can send it out if need be of the the expression that we use. Sorry, Alex, you might have to pause us. Maybe we can, can have a chat later on. Thank you.